welcome to java forum now we are going to see how to enable nested virtualization on oracle linux 8.7 which is running under vmware workstation pro 17 and also we are going to see how to install vmware workstation player 17 inside the oracle linux 8 virtual machine so first step, step i am showing a system information please check the system information so here i am uh, using windows 10 pro latest uh, version and also you can see this uh, four hyper v features so especially we need second level address translation extension uh, to be enabled so these four features uh, related to virtual uh, virtualization should be enabled so i am using 13 general in uh, 13 generation intel processor so second step i am going to show you what are the windows features i have enabled and disabled so i am showing the windows features which i have enabled and disabled so uh, virtual machine platform and windows hyper platform so these two features should be disabled so once again i am repeating windows hypervisor platform and virtual machine platform so these two features i have disabled already because this will block the uh, nested virtualization so if you install docker desktop means make sure that you have disabled the docker desktop temporarily because that also will block the nested virtualization in vmware workstation so i have disabled the docker desktop temporarily if you want you can enable it that's not a problem okay so now uh, this is my uh, linux iso 2022 directory which contains uh, all the linux binaries and uh, iso files so this directory i am going to mount as a shared folder uh, to the oracle linux 8 virtual machine okay now let us go to the vmware workstation pro 17 here you can see that oracle linux 8.7 virtual machine which I already installed. So I am going to edit uh, the settings accordingly to enable nested virtualization. So I already have 8 GB RAM, but I am having only a few CPU cores. So I increase the CPU core count to 8 CPU cores. Very, very important step. Now I have enabled the nested virtualization by enabling virtualize Intel, VTX, and EPT. Next, go to Options tab. Mount the shared uh, shared folder. So I am mounting the shared folder. So enable the so enable the shared. That's it. So uh, final summary. So I have increased the CPU core count and enabled uh, nested virtualization now let us power on this oracle linux 8.7 virtual machine so oracle linux 8.7 dvd iso file i already mounted so i am going to copy some rpm packages from dvd iso file so these are the rpm packages i have copied from dvd iso file because these rpms are needed by vmware workstation player 17 So I have installed all the RPMs in a single shot. So make sure that you have done as a root user. So all the RPMs got installed. So these are the RPMs needed by VMware Workstation Player 17. Next, I am going to mount the 
shared directory which i have shown uh, right linux iso 2022 shared directory i am going to mount so add this line under slash etc slash fs tab So I have already done one video related to how to mount the shared folder in VMware Workstation Pro uh, virtual machines. Please refer to that video. So I have mounted the shared folder. So here you can see uh, all Linux ISO files are available and VMware player binary is there. So I am going to install the VMware player now. So make sure that all uh, pre-requests done correctly, then only installation will go smooth. So installation is completed. Let me go to show applications. You can see that VMware player 17 is got installed. Now let me start the VMware player. So accept the license agreement. Click the next button. Okay, I am going to use for non-commercial use only. So provide the root password. Okay, so now I am going to create a new virtual machine inside one virtual machine. So uh, Oracle Linux 8 is the flavor. So we are going to install Oracle Linux 8 virtual machine inside the Oracle Linux 8. So this is the name of the virtual machine, OL8 in OL8 is the name of the virtual machine I am giving. Click the next button. So 20 GB hard space and store it as a single file. So memory, I am going to increase the RAM memory. So I need 2 GB. 2 GB of RAM. So already my virtual machine is having 8 GB of RAM. So CPU processor, I am going to allocate 2 CPU cores. So already I am having 8 CPU cores for my virtual machine. Next I am mounting the Oracle Linux uh, DVD ISO file which is in shared directory which I have mounted now. So I am choosing Oracle Linux 8.7 DVD ISO file. So that's it. So now uh, let us start the virtual machine. So installation step is same like before. So I am skipping some installation screens. So this is the final step. So I am creating user. Software selection is server with guy. Begin the installation. That's it. So installation is completed. So here you can see that Oracle is running the two kernels. I am selecting lowest version of the kernel. So finally, uh, we have installed the uh, Oracle Linux 8 virtual machine, which is running inside another Oracle Linux 8.7 virtual machine. So everything is done. So we have achieved the nested virtualization. So let me yeah, run some commands. Yes. So let me close the unmounted applications. Yes, now I can, I think you are able to view. 
you can see that oracle linux 8 virtual machine is running inside another oracle linux 8 virtual machine so which is running under vmware workstation pro 17 so as a general advice uh, i would like to share some information so please proceed to nested virtualization if you have enough cp cores enough ram and enough hard space so uh, these are the virtual network adapters installed in uh, virtual machine by vmware workstation player and this is the directory where all your virtual machine are getting stored so i think uh, around uh, 6.4 gigabytes of uh, virtual hard space is getting used for this virtual machine so uh, as in final words uh, we have achieved nested virtualization nested virtualization using oracle linux 8 virtual machine which is running under vmware workstation pro 17 so make sure that you have enabled uh, virtualization in bios and you have enabled uh, nested virtualization in operating system level and enabled virtualization nested virtualization in vmware workstation also you have enough hardware cpu cores